Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you can join me. I was going to record this video outside because it's a beautiful day, but it's so noisy. People have their air conditioners on and the lawnmowers. So I thought, let me just stay inside so you can get the best view of this unboxing. Uh, Donner is a great um, instrument company. I've actually bought Donner instruments before I started doing uh, unboxing uh, videos and such. And my son still has his Donner uh, like bass guitar, uh, ukulele, which is very cool. Um, anyway, this is not a tongue drum, but this is one of theirs. And it's not a keyboard. <laughs> it's not a ukulele. It is an electric guitar. Is this my, this is my first, I believe, of an electric guitar, yes. I have, I have um, uh, unboxed like acoustic electric, but this is a, a regular electric guitar. So it is the jazz electric. So it came to me today and I'm going to probably speed up the video uh, to try to get it out of this box. So here we go. And if I didn't mention it, Donner did send me this instrument for me, you know, for me to play and to review and to share with you all. I just wanted to let you know that up front. And so, um, of course, my opinions are mine. I try to be as honest and um, straightforward as I can. And hopefully you will see, you know, if the instrument's good or not. So I hope it's good. It looks pretty good from the picture. Okay, so it was only wrapped, as you can see, in the box that it came in, but I'm sure, you know, there's a case too, so hopefully that protects it. There is a hole that I noticed in the um, plastic and another hole back here. Um, this came from Donna directly. I do know they sell these on Amazon as well, though, and I'll share with you the links to both in case you like it since they were very nice to send this to me. Okay. It's like in a big ukulele box, right? <laughs> okay. All right, I did read that the case is a 10 centimeter thick gig bag. So um, it's still a gig bag. So bear that in mind that you should never, you know, be really careful with it. If it drops, it's, you know, I'd be worried. A uh, hard case, you know, would protect it the best. But a gig bag is great if you, uh, you know, going on short trips. It's not that heavy to lug. And, and 10 centimeters is better than five. I've gotten some gig bags, which were five, and really makes a difference. So I like their logo with the music note, Donner. It's got a zipper here. And a handle. It's not rubberized or anything, but it's like, you know, feels like it's doubled, so it's a little thicker. Yay! You know, I love backpack straps. And actually, you know what? For an electric guitar, this is not that heavy because I have some electric guitars that I hardly play because, let's face it, folks, <laughs> I'm getting up there in years and, uh, you know, I have some bad hands and then the neck and all that. So, uh, the heavier the guitar, the less I find myself using them. I think that's why I've gravitated towards ukuleles and stuff, besides the hand problems. Okay, but my hands are doing well. And let's see what this is. This looks like. It's very thin, you see that? It's also 39 inches, which is good because I like the smaller body guitars. Even in acoustics, I like that. Ooh, I never had a sunburst. I have a sunburst ukulele and a sunburst, um, like, I don't know what you call it, a cigar box guitar, but I never had a sunburst guitar or electric guitar. So <laughs> this is exciting. I hope it's really good. You always want it to be great because, you know, like that's what makes it more fun, right? Then I can say, yeah, it's really nice. So I always wish for the best, but I know the companies I've dealt with, you know, most of them I deal with now, they're very reputable, which, you know, is always a good thing. Okay. Ooh, smooth neck. Wow. I'll just show you the neck. It's got a maple neck and a maple fingerboard too. That's exciting. Look at that. 
it's very yellow. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. But I don't mind yellow like the sun. Dun, dun, dun. Like a shoulder. Oh my goodness. It's very shiny. Oh, you know I like shiny things. If you watch any of my videos, I've mentioned that my husband says I'm like a ferret because I love shiny things. Ooh, let's look at the back. Ooh, these are the through body strings. I know uh, many uh, guitar electric guitars are done that way. Are you ready? Oh my. Ta-da! It's got the metal plate back here. It says Donner. I'll show you. And then I'll take the dressing off the, the fretboard so you can see it. See that? Very shiny. I hope you could see that from the video. It's probably good that we weren't outside. You wouldn't have been able to see the color as well. It's really sunny out there. Okay, so let me take this uh, paper off the, the uh, fretboard. We can talk a little more. See, you can see that, right? It's got the black and then it goes to this like reddish color and it's got one F clef. This is like what you see on violins. I love that. And that's interesting how they did it. They put the pick guard all the ways down for the, uh, you know, on the other side where the knobs are. There's a volume knob and there's a tone knob. There's a three-way pickup selector. And these are dual humbuckers, okay? And they give you various tones when you plug in. Um, I also don't think I have a humbucker guitar. I have one with a P90 pickup. So these are humbuckers. And as you, that's your magnetic pickups right here. There are two of them, that's what the humbuckers I mean, two pickups. Let's see, it's got the strap button and another strap button here. And it's similar to other brands that have, I won't mention the brands <laughs> that have that style, which holds the strings in place. And all the tuners are on one side, you see? And right there in the middle, right here, that's where you adjust the neck if you needed to. It's got a truss rod that goes along this way. I have to tell you, whew, uh, it's one thing I notice all the time is how smooth the frets are. And these are super smooth, no rough edges, really nice. Wow. I like the, I don't know if you could see it. I'll try to get a little closer. There's some green in the uh, neck. You see that? I love that when you see the actual wood. It's all solid, by the way. Uh, this is all solid wood guitar. Look at that, you can see. I'll take a look when I get closer. Oh, and here's the, here is where you plug it in. Okay, on the side. I prefer them on the side because I have some guitars where the hole is here. And if you're playing it and then you want to set it down, it's going to press on the cord. So I don't really like it on the side. I know other companies, I have a guitar where it goes in the front and that's a little awkward too because then it kind of goes around. I don't like that. I like the one on the side. So that's good. Okay, so, oh, this is cool. This stripe down here, stripe of wood, I guess it's, I don't know what, I guess that's where the truss rod is, maybe. But I like it. 
I don't know if it's aesthetic or it's for function, but I have seen electric guitars that have that. Uh, it's got, you know, a few cords that you can look at. Oh, I didn't give you the model number. It's, uh, all right, DJC. Oh, because it's jazz, Donner Jazz, okay? Uh, DJC 1000S. It's a solid, solid, oh boy, let's start that again. It's a solid poplar wood body. Um, it says it's got good quality brass strings, a PVC pick guard. Tuning pegs are made of steel for easy tuning. Three-way pickup selector switch. It's got the perforated design where the strings go through the body. It says it's got good sustain and minimal feedback. And it's, as I said, 38 uh, inches. So it's uh, or 39 inches. I think, I think they're 41 inches. Is it like a regular size guitar, I believe? Maybe even a little bigger. But this is 39 inches. Actually, I want to put it like this. It actually feels pretty good. Like I said, I man, I have a guitar. I can't even lift it. Two of them like that. But this is like really not bad at all. So you could, you know, hold it like that. If you have neck problems, maybe I wouldn't use this strap because sometimes that could weigh you down. But speaking of straps, let's let's talk about what they give you. Okay. So they give you the all important, there's two of them. Hmm. Truss rod adjusters. I don't know why there's two. I'm not really sure what the little one is for. If anybody knows, fill me in. I actually don't, I usually don't do mechanical work on my instruments. I mean, I'll clean them, I'll polish them, I'll change strings, but I, I don't really want to fiddle with things like the truss rod and stuff like that. So what is the little one for? I'll take it out so you can see it. It's a really tiny one. I don't know what that's for. But the big one I know for sure goes in here and you can adjust it with very small increments because you could ruin the neck otherwise. Uh, it also comes with the strap as I mentioned. So I'll take that out after I show up the video to tune it. Black strap that says Donner on it, you'll see that. And it comes with a Donner instrument cable. Now she said there was a pedal. So I'm wondering if it's coming at a later time. I thought it was going to be in the box. So I will have to speak with my contact. And if there's a pedal, I'll unbox that or just, uh, you know, use it in a demonstration uh, if I get it soon enough with this uh, guitar. Okay, so it comes with the, it says premium plus 10 foot instrument cable, which should be enough, you know, to be to plug into an amp or you can plug it into a recording device. So I'm going to tune this baby up. It's pretty sunburst. I like that. It's not overly, you know, crazy. It's, I think it's very subtle. You think it's nice? I like it. I think it's pretty. I'm not sure about this this little switch here. I don't know what I would have wanted there because it's just this, it's an, it's an odd uh, look to it. Um, I think it's kind of big, like maybe a little, just a little rubber piece might have just been nice. You know, I don't think it needs to be so uh, obtrusive. I think these tone knobs are great though. You don't, these, Sometimes they lift up, but this one doesn't. So these are just tone and volume. You can't miss it. <laughs> um, I think I'll hit it. Lovely. <laughs> all right, let me tune this baby up and I'll be back. I have it all tuned, her all tuned up and uh, plugged into a little, this is actually an acoustic guitar amp, but it will serve a purpose, fine. And then you can get to hear, you know, some of a little, how she sounds. I say she, I don't know why, it looks like a girl. This is a little song I wrote, this is called Escape.
that's only half the song. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'll make another video where I play the whole song. Um, I haven't played electric guitar in a really long time. And um, <laughs> wow, it makes bar chords pretty easy. And my I have basal thumb joint arthritis, so I would know right away if I couldn't play it, it would sound really bad. So I'm kind of excited that I can do that right off the bat. And um, so I also want you to hear the difference in the different uh, switch selector, which is the tones. So uh, it has to do with the pickups. So this is right here on the treble pickup, it's called. And then you have the middle, which is both. Well, I'll do the bass, go all the way to the left. That's just the bass pickup, very deep. And then you have a combination of both. So it could depend on what kind of music you're playing, you know, that you might want one or the other. I try to play the same thing for each so you can hear the difference. Maybe you might want the middle one for more mellow or even mellower still, the bass pickup. I like it. Wow, I'm, I'm actually pretty impressed. There's also tone. Let's see which is the volume. So that's volume. So this is what it sounds like unplugged. If you wanted to practice quietly, just practicing songs, you can do that without really disturbing anybody. I mean, it's it's got some sound, but it's not uh, silent. Um, here's when you lift it all the way up. But my amp is not, lift, you know, it's not raised all the way up. So you can fool between the volume of your amp and the volume of this. And then there's an additional tone selector. selector switch. So more like bass and treble. Yeah, you can hear a little bit more with the treble pickup. start refreshing my memory on uh, my guitar skills. I haven't really played too much guitar in a long time. And almost never on the electric guitar. So this might be the start of some new songs with the electric guitar. I tend to, I kind of like, I don't usually like the treble pickup on guitars, but I like this one. Of course, I'd have to try it with different amps and pedals. I know Donner has a pedal, I think. Uh, they may be sending me and I could, you know, share that with you when I get it. Um, also, I wanted to show you that they give me, they gave this to us and I only saw the, the part that showed the chords, okay? But on the back is actually something kind of cool. It's a string action ruler. So you can put this on your string, okay? And you would go like, you could, t you could see how the um, action is. Okay, I could take that off, it would be better, but so you can go like this and see where the action is, and it's no more than 3.5 all the way up the fretboard. I don't know if you can see that, I think you can. And as you get down, it's actually as low as 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, 1.
So it's 1.0 at the nut and about 3.5 at the, um, all the ways up past the 12th fret, all the ways to the, uh, my goodness, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's a 22 fret, so it goes all the way up to the 22nd fret, and you can see it's still on 3.5. At least I hope you can see that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it's good action. When you have good action, it makes it a little easier to play. You don't have to press down so hard on the strings, and actually electric guitar, uh, you even have to press less because of the pickups and the strings are thinner, usually. Uh, what else? You can play finger pick stuff. with the ukulele it's hard for me to go back to the pick um, you could just strum it to use an electric guitar for like rock music and distortion. I just really love the way it sounds. And um, for example, Oh, 
it could sustain. Um, here you have it, the Donner DJC1000S. And um, there it says www.donner.com.cn or www.donnerdeal.com. And I know they're found on Amazon as well. I want to say this is not just a guitar for a beginner. And I think the price is under $150, which is insane. When I started a guitar, I had a guitar where the action was so far off the fretboard, it was ridiculous. And I think my parents paid more than that. Which is a long time ago, but I'm totally happy with this guitar. I love the maple neck, very smooth. Fun, you know, learning how to, you know the different sounds of the pickup, how it affects when I play different types of music and stuff. thin and it's not heavy I, I don't know how much it weighs gosh it's i want to say five or six pounds maybe less this is light i have trouble as i told you with um my hands and my neck and this is not bothering me at all so it's all about you know making your own decisions of course these youtube videos help me and i hope i helped you because this is a really nice guitar i i, I guarantee you if I let some of my, you know, guitar playing friends play it, don't tell them the brand or anything, they'd probably think it was a lot more expensive than it is. It feels great. It feels solid, but not heavy. And I like the fact that it's all solid wood. It's got a maple neck. It's got the closed gear tuners. It's really, action is great. I mean, what's not to like about it? Honestly, I love the color. And they give you the case. I'm using the cord that uh, they gave you and the strap. What else? I guess that's all I have to say, except Donner, you did a good job. This is a really nice guitar for not just, you know, beginners. I think it's good for people who play. <laughs> I think they'd be really surprised. So I like it. Hope you enjoyed the little demo. I will definitely have to use this for my song and record it properly so you can hear the whole song. And thanks so much for watching.